Hey, welcome back to week nine of our science experiments. Um, we are continuing on with the My Body Project. This week, we're doing skeleton, muscles, and stomach. And again, my role here is to just give you three or four main points to make your prep time easier. So skeleton is, of course, our bones. So first main point is that our skeleton has two um, kind of organization terms. One is our axial skeleton, which is again our center. Review with the kids, what are the parts of your axial skeleton? Skull, sternum, ribs, vertebrae. And then we have our appendicular skeleton, which are our extremities, our arms and our legs. Second most important part, or second important interesting fact, would be how many bones make up our skeleton. Um, so, I don't know. Ask the kids, how many bones make up our skeleton? I got bones. 206, 206, I got bones. That is a little ditty we learned a few years back by Dr. Um, Michael and Dr. Donna Sanders. So one little way to remember is that little ditty. I got bones, 206, 206. So that'll help you remember. Once it's in your head, you'll never lose it. As a newborn, we're born with 300 bones, around 300 bones, um, that have cartilage all in between them. This allows a baby's head to be born and to move and shift through the birth canal. It allows our brains to grow and expand. And by the time we become an adult, um, those bones, several of them have fused together to go from 300 to 206. So that's the second main point. Third main point of our skeleton is the purpose of it. It keeps us erect. It keeps us with posture. And of course, without our skeleton, we would be a big blob um, all around of muscle and organs. And so our skeleton protects our inner organs, gives us posture and shape, um, and is organized in those fashions we've talked about. And of course, how many do we have? 206. 206. Good. Second, um, so to, oh, also with the bones, you don't have to color them. They're already white. So you can just set those to the side or go ahead and cut them out if you want to. Second are muscles. Okay, so muscles, what are three kinds of muscles we've learned about? Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. So skeletal muscles, the big point with skeletal muscles is that they're voluntary. Skeletal muscles are like what I'm using now when I talk. They're what we use when we move. I would have your kids turn to their neighbor and flex for each other, flex and extend. What they see are skeletal muscles. Same thing, you can have them stand on their tippy toes. Can you see your calf muscles and then squat down? Can they see their quad muscles? Those are all skeletal muscles. The muscles we're coloring for in my body are the skeletal muscles. Then you have smooth muscle. Smooth muscle, as we've learned, is the covering, or we're learning today, is what the stomach is made out of. It's covered over the stomach. Um, it covers parts of our skin. Smooth muscle makes up parts of our eye, like our iris, which contracts around our pupil. Um, it is involved in our digestive system with our stomach and our intestines. Um, it is also covers in our arteries and veins and helps control our blood pressure. So smooth muscle helps control all the involuntary functions throughout our body. So involuntary mean we don't think about them. We don't have to tell our stomach to digest. We don't have to tell our intestines to contract or our eyes, our irises to contract or expand. It's involuntary. God created the smooth muscle to work um, as the hormones, neurons, all of that to command them to do so. Um, so we have skeletal, voluntary, smooth, involuntary. And our third type of muscle is of course our cardiac, which is our heart. Our heart is the only organ made up of cardiac muscle cells. They are a unique cell, all of themselves. Um, and they are our hardest working muscle. Um, that cardiac muscle, it works 24 hours a day, seven days a week until the Lord calls us home. And that um, works constant. So God created the cardiac muscle to be a little unique and different that it could withstand so many years of constant work. Um, and of course the function of the cardiac muscle is to pump blood throughout our whole body, distributing oxygen, nutrients like we talked about before with the heart. 
So that was our muscle. And last today, so then they can color the muscles, lay them to the side, or go ahead and cut them if you want. And then the stomach. Again, the stomach we talked about is lined with smooth muscle. So a couple things about the stomach. Number one, covered in smooth muscle. The purpose of the stomach is to help digest. It's the major place of digestion of food. And so the stomach has the muscle which contracts and moves and smushes our food and liquid all together. It also secretes digestive juices and enzymes which help break down the food. So it smushes and secretes the juices and enzymes to break it down into smaller pieces which then can go into our intestines. So that is the main purpose and role of the stomach. It's also a storage sac. So when our, our food goes from our mouth, esophagus, to our stomach, um, it sits there and then begins to do its digestion. When you hear a gurgling or a growling, usually it's in your stomach. And that's when gases or air get in there and your stomach's squishing and moving and it just squishes the air around and you hear that growling. And it's telling you you need to eat. Your stomach is hungry because there's nothing to digest in there. So it's a good reminder. So again, skeleton, muscles, stomach. Enjoy week nine.